everybody, welcome to another episode of the GPRO podcast with your hosts, me, Jun Ho, and obviously my co-host, James Hitchin. Hello. Hello. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Yeah, I'm doing well, man. Good. I'm doing good. It's uh, It was a very hot day today, so... Indeed. Heat yeah. breath. <laughs> Freaking sweating, mate. Um, but yeah, um, obviously this episode, we're just going to talk about uh, the previous season in GPRO. Um and also, we have our Premier League predictions as well, and obviously the induction of three more people in our GPR podcast Hall of Fame. So, uh, you know, feel free, stick around, listen to that. But firstly, <coughs> James, how did your uh, season go last year, or last season? Very well, surprisingly. It started off bad, and then consistency was key. And by <laughs> consistency, so, I mean just relentless podiums. Fair. I mean, you, you promoted... To master, right? So you're yeah, master this season. What um, master group are you in? I'm in master four again. Master four. Yeah. Yeah, how you? How you find? How did you find the first race? I didn't actually look. Uh, qualified last, finished thirty seventh. Yes. So. <laughs> At least you got promoted. Yeah. So uh, last season for me, I uh, barely survived, but for some reason, my group Pro eighteen, we had a lot of people who went into negative. And relegated, so that was scared of you. I mean, yeah, to yeah. With you. fair enough. But yeah, like even like people who finished like thirty third and thirty fourth managed to retain. So I was just like, wow, okay, cool. <laughs> just no yeah. one wants to promote. It's the old amateur technique, just stay positive and you'll, you'll stay up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I might I might look at relegating this season. I don't know. Still going through Plan A at the moment, but um, yeah. So obviously last season uh, in Elite, Joachim won his uh, second he did indeed. title. He's only one of, if I can remember, one of like maybe four or five champ- like Elite champions who have won back-to-back on their first two titles. Mm. So, you know, he's, 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 you know, he's up there. I mean, like, there's a lot of people who didn't finish, you know, who didn't win their second yeah. one after, right after the first one. So, you know. Will we see like a dev domination or like a some sort of like legacy going on, like a dynasty of Joachim wins? Possible. It'd be interesting to see if you could pull it off this season, Mitch's. Mm. I mean, yeah. there's what three people on Bridges? Yeah, there's 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 a few. <laughs> there's, a, there's, mm. there's there's at least there's at least three that I can remember. Yeah. Um one of them in my now current team. <laughs> So uh, mm-hmm. Ali, <laughs> so we got we got we got. Um, I think Ali's on um, on bridges. I'm not actually hundred percent sure on that. But I know I, I know I know I have a teammate who's in bridges. Which gets me very nicely onto uh, congratulating you on being the team leader for Edifice. It's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> I know. I know. What, what, what's this? So what what happened? Why why isn't I met the team leader anymore? Why why were you decided? Unfortunately, well. No one really liked that. We, we just wanted him out. And yeah. we weren't allowed to kick him out. Apparently that was undemocratic. So just put him down into 10th and shit happens. Names in a hat. Eric came out first. We said, no, we can't have that. <laughs> so that was the second one. Uh, what did Eric, like, what, what did you give to the role that Eric didn't have? Um, well, I'm not American. And that was about it, really. That, that was pretty much it. Oh, the Americans listening now. I am gonna, I am refraining from this conversation. This is not me. This is purely edifice oh. <laughs> qualifications. And obviously, being American doesn't count. Americans don't have an intention span long enough to make it this far. And it's uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. Oh, god, yeah. <laughs> but no, it's good, good to, good to see you out there. Obviously, what's, what's going to be your first? Port of call. What, what are you going to do? Uh, I edited all of Eric's posts to the, uh, well, I basically swapped Ahmed's name for my name when he was praising him. And um, he's not noticed, I don't think. I went through every single thread for it. I mean, you did say yeah. his attention span's pretty low, so, you know, you yeah, might, yeah, might yeah. haven't seen it. So, if you're listening out there, Eric, you know, <laughs> good luck <laughs> if you made it as far. But, um, but yeah. So obviously, we've got James being edifice leader, but obviously, See uh, where it leads exactly. Yeah, it's I mean, been a it was... successful first race. <laughs> We're in the triple digits for position, which I think is like the first time we've pulled that off. 
triple dip. Wait, what? Yeah, we're we're outside of the top one hundred at the minute. Wait, are you? Yeah. I thought you were like second or third. Wait, 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 what? No, we're a hundred and third. Oh. <laughs> For some reason, I thought you were like. Cause... Oh no. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wow, okay, geez. Good start. <laughs> yeah. It, it looks like we're in third if you go to the third page. But... Yeah. But no, you're yeah. 100 Wow, okay. Is no one promoting this season in your team? Uh, we don't plan this far ahead. Um, it is this season, <laughs> James. <laughs> yeah. We'll leave it to around rest 14 or something. Um, I mean, I don't even know if Peter's selected his ties yet, has he? Who knows? I haven't, I haven't James. Maybe you just press the button and just hope for the best. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Max got a podium in rest one. He might go up. We'll see. Uh, I'm at a crash in rest one, I think. So. Yeah, I mean... That, that, that hurt our team points. You know, he normally I mean, carries us, but... That's what he gets for uh, being kicked as a team leader, to be yes. honest. So, you know. That's what he gets for taking a premium tire supplier with a non-premium package. <laughs> Hey, he can do whatever he wants, you know. No, no one can argue with that one. The bank might disagree. Well, <laughs> that's for them to decide. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I didn't know you were on the third fair. I thought you were, you were with us. And when I say us, oh, you no. know, I uh, obviously I recently moved to uh, Nivellari, you know. It's the big show. I know, man. It's uh, It was uh, a pleasant surprise. Very good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I had... Um, had the uh, application, went in, had a few questions asked, um, and then I went into this really weird Discord style <laughs> kind of like interview with other people. I'm just like, what is this? Just scared of answering any question. Scared. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, luckily I managed to get in. So, you know, in my mm. first proper full team, proper like <laughs> top team. So, you know. Getting there. Obviously, you know, Pirates are second, so, you know, we're, de- we're definitely winning the uh, the teams this oh, season, that's for sure. Easy. But, yeah. Man, it's definitely a... Uh... A new era. Mm, for sure. New beginning. Well, who knows, you know, James, you, you as the team leader of Edifice, I'm becoming a nouveau family member. <sighs> oh, hell broke loose. Let's <laughs> change it. Just show us how... How wrong the world's gone recently, exactly. doesn't it? Yeah. Exactly. I mean, who would have thought, eh? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know, speaking of uh, GPRO, obviously we've had our podcast nominations. So we had, 20, mm-hmm. we had, a, we had the short list of 20. And uh, we finally have a result. So thank you to everybody who voted. It was really appreciated. Um, we actually have our three now. So without further ado, we're going to release and let you know who the three inductees are. So Exciting. the first one who had 10 out of we have 23 responses, so that was pretty good. Thank you very much. 10 of the 23 was a two-time champ, back to back, was part of the Versant team. He became an admin. Everyone knows who he is now, is Yuka Sereni. Woo-hoo. So he was obviously, you know, back to back champ. Once we when Driver Energy was actually first introduced into the game what's what's your what's your opinion on your james to be honest at the time when he won the titles i wasn't really too active mm. i was busy so i never really at the time didn't really see it but obviously when you flick through the forums he sees posts and everything i think he's a very yeah. clever guy he's oh, obviously yeah. really yeah. influential you know yeah i mean uh, yeah I obviously it's fantastic yeah obviously we had um, adam as a guest or a podcast mm-hmm. guest, you know, yeah. and it was an absolute wonderful time talking to him. His his insight on everything, oh, yes. like just listening to how he kind of visualizes the game and what he wants the game to be in future, and just absolutely yeah. amazing. Um, so <clears throat> definitely a very worthy inductee into the Hall of Fame, that's for sure. So congratulations, Yuka. Your post will be in the in, in the thread very shortly. Just got to get that created. Um, Obviously, the next the next two, uh, second and third, were actually tied on votes, which made it very easy. <laughs> we didn't have we didn't have multiple people on the same amount of votes, so perfectly three people. Uh, the first person I feel is the third best GPR manager of all time, 
one of your former team leaders, actually, James. Indeed. And the six-time GPR Elite Champion is obviously the Turkish legend, Ahmet Nenna. Ahmet. To- <laughs> Toy Gun <laughs> Senler. So Toy Gun is a very worthy GPR inductee. Oh, come on, come on. He's, he's your former teammate. What's your, what's, what's, your, what's your verdict on him, man? He's brilliant. It, when I first joined, like he was winning the titles that he's in his prime, and that stuck with me. That is like... It's one of the big reasons I joined the team because just it's iconic for me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, him and Leandro is kind of oh, yeah. duels. Yeah. Like they, them two dominated the you know, the early scene back in the day, and it's just absolutely amazing just to see them <laughs> how they can win elite championships with like ease, just like, season after season. Just oh yeah, the it's best crazy. is the insight they brought to the team forums when he joined that face. Okay, he was. His posts were not of an elite champion standard. They were just so normal. Mm-hmm. And like, I can't believe it. Armut puts more work into a season than Toy Gun did. And he still didn't <laughs> win. It's it's incredible. <laughs> it was so effortless. Maybe we're doing it all wrong. Maybe we just stop exactly. caring. <laughs> <laughs> just put a few swear words on the team forum every so often and you'll... you'll and you win five titles. You yeah, know, so it's... Easy. <laughs> like, it's not... <laughs> An absolute, yeah, Toy Gun, absolute legend. Obviously, retired now. Um, I don't think he's locked in at all. But if you are listening to this, Toy Gun, congratulations, welcome, fourth member of the uh, GPR Podcast Hall of Fame. And now the last one. Hmm. All the new guns might not know who this is, mm-hmm. but obviously, me and James definitely know who this guy is. Oh, absolutely. All the old school people also know. Three time champ from Finland, absolute god of the scene. It is Yari Araskoski, and I don't know if I botched his last name, but <laughs> probably <laughs> he was just incredible. Still, you know, he's retired maybe mid season, like season mid twenties or something. Maybe like 26, 27. Yeah, still has five qualifying track records. Still has six Grand Shellums in elite. Just absolutely domination you know him and his wife Heidi just absolutely just dominated the scene back in you know season 10 to about 19 20 just all you see just their names at the top so come on yeah let me let me let me hear your thoughts on this one it's impressive like when you go through the seasons you know it's just the Finland flag at the top and even when mm. they weren't winning they were up there it was just so consistent and yeah. I don't think we'll see that ever again like with driver energy and the, how competitive elites got? Yeah, we're not going to see someone stay at the top like they did. Yeah, of course. Yeah, fair. I mean, we've got Yug, you know, Yug and uh, Yokim at the moment. You know, they've they're the only two that pretty much won back to back titles yeah. in in the recent years. But they they were just top. I mean, when you, yeah. When you when you look through the history of Yari, it's like. Second, first, first, third, third, first, second, fourth, third. Yeah. Like, that is consistency. That's incredible. I mean, considering he also was the first champion to have promoted from rookie to win the elite mm-hmm. championship. Oh, yeah. It's just an absolute powerhouse. I mean, yeah. even even Heidi. Heidi had um, five votes, so she was actually pretty close to uh, being inducted. Yeah. But she was the one, um, obviously, we've had, if I say the name Jan Rocker, Everyone knows who this person <laughs> is. And she came into his group and just absolutely dominated the guy. The guy left straight afterwards. And it's just... I mean, what, what can you say to that? I mean, this guy's been winning 17 races out of 17 in rookie, just pummeling people. And then Heidi goes in and just demolishes them, <laughs> kicks them out of the game. Yep. So, but, but Yari is definitely, definitely a worthy inductee um commiserations to uh Remontus and uh justinus they were both had six votes so they just missed out but obviously we'll do another vote on this i'm going to put a new list out there after this podcast and then episode 20 we'll have a uh, another three inductees i'll also be including like a, a couple of other lists as well because obviously i don't want to include just kind of pure races i want uh kind of the kind of forum contributors as well and maybe um some other category that we can do as well so if you have any ideas obviously give us a pm on gpro and then obviously you know might include that in the next one but um, yeah i, I kind of want to do something like nba where 
it's not just the players, but also the coaches. Maybe teams can be inducted as well. Who knows? So um, obviously, we know who the first team is going to be. But, <laughs> but oh, obviously, um, obviously, obviously, you know, it's definitely edifice. But, um, but yeah, <laughs> nothing compares. Exactly. I mean, but um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll put we'll put we'll put new posts and new kind of a list up there. So look out for that on the thread. But um, yeah, any other any other thing you want to say? About the uh, Hall of Fame, James? I, I agree with the inductees. I think they're a good choice. I, I think I'd probably have gone for those three as well. Yeah, was there any other any, any other name other than those three or Roland and Leandro that you might have wanted to be in there? I think Romintas deserved it. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I think probably most of the people on the list will end up in it. Yeah. They're all very deserving. So, yeah. yeah, fair. I mean, fair enough. It's... It's a it's a very strong list, <laughs> that's for sure. Oh yes, very. But we'll uh, we'll keep we'll we'll keep we'll keep those in 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 the list, and then we'll try to maybe include a couple more, um, and then yeah, we'll go from the votes there. I've got all your uh, responses as well, because I did put a question saying who would you want to induct into the Hall of Fame that was not part of the twenty that was on there. There's some very good names in there. Um, someone put. Um, my name in there for some reason, and obviously I'm not a really good racer. <laughs> Someone put Armet, which I'm assuming Armet did, so I'll just kind of ignore Probably. that. <laughs> but um, yeah, any all of your responses I will put into a, into a list, and I will maybe get a community vote as well. But um, yeah, that's the Hall of Fame. That's the, that's the G Power Podcast Hall of Fame for now. And um, next, what do you want to go for next? Do you want to go for the Premier League predictions? Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> that's so, well. uh, Okay, so obviously for people who haven't listened in episode 10, we uh, did a Premier League kind of prediction, not at the start of the Premier League season, but like kind of like... It's 10, a couple of weeks in. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but I think it was around week seven, week seven, I think. Something around that. But um, yeah, we had a we had our own predictions. We put our bet on it. Whoever loses, owes the other person a meal. Mm-hmm. So we still have that. We actually have a scoring system now. So the scoring system is for every position that you are off, you gain a point, and then the person who has the least amount of points wins the whole tournament or the whole the, the whole prediction game. So, are you ready, James? I'm going to share my screen so you have a look. Let's go. So here we go. Can you see this now? Everyone should be able I to see this. Indeed. So this is my prediction, and then this is James's prediction, and then obviously these. This is the official finishing list. So. Um, Obviously, first is Man City. Obviously, we got that all correct. So we have zero points on that because everyone's perfectly correct. I'm just going to centre these because this is going to annoy me. Oh. All right. So second, we both had Leicester and they choked. They absolutely <laughs> choked it. They did indeed. So that's actually oh, three dear. positions off. Three in there. Okay. Third, we had Man United. We both had Man United. Okay. Yeah, um, we did. So that was just one point each. Now, oh, here's the difference. I put Liverpool fourth and actually finished third, so I get a point. Yeah. You obviously, you know, supported supported the ham. Supported <sighs> the West Ham. We actually finished sixth, so wasn't the best, but wasn't the worst either. So we'll put you two points there. It, it's a miracle they got Lingard, to be honest, otherwise I could have been very, very strong on that one. It's true, yeah, we did, yeah, I did, we, obviously this this was like early in the season, so we didn't yeah. know Lingard's going to come in. Uh, we didn't know Declan Rice could be injured, you know, I had Ogbonna injured, we had quite a lot of people injured actually, so kind of derailed most of it, but um, yeah. So fifth, yeah. obviously Leicester finished fifth. Um, we had Everton for me, and they finished tenth, so that was great. So that's one, two, three, four, five positions off. <clears throat> and yet Villa, and they finish eleventh. So that's six positions. Six positions. Grealish there. got injured. That's what, that's what yeah, ruined that's, it. Yeah, that's yeah. I mean, Villa's, <laughs> I mean, yeah, because you were you were pretty much there um, when yeah. we predicted it. So yeah. yeah. So. I think we were um, about fifth or something. We had two games in hand at the time. Yes, that was yeah because mm. we were fourth. We were just above you, but obviously yeah. we played way yeah. more games. Yeah, that's great. Um, the next one, sixth, is obviously West Ham, and obviously I got them predicted oh. correctly, so I get zero points for that one. Everton, you put Everton in there, so that's four points for you because they finished tenth there. Seventh, I don't. How did we get this one correct? Like, I have no idea. <laughs> Sp- 
Spurs obviously finished seventh, and we put Spurs seventh, so we both get zero points for that one. Um, I might as well do zero points for Sheffield United because we took all that one right yeah. as well. <laughs> that was an easy one. Yeah we, yeah, we we just ignored that one. So the next one, eighth was actually Arsenal, but we I put Villa, who finished eleventh, so we get three points. And you put Liverpool, who actually finished third. <laughs> you finished five. Why did you put, why did you put um, Liverpool down there again? Because I, I I don't know. I think that was just after the centre back incidents had happened and mm. I wasn't expecting Nat Phillips to be as good they got Quebec obviously that was a yeah. bit of a surprise and uh, I just didn't have hope for them mm. nah fam. For, some, for some reason I still had hope for them <laughs> and, yeah. and just got lucky very confident yeah got, got lucky on that one All right, ninth it was Leeds but obviously <laughs> I got Chelsea so we finished fourth so that's five points you've put your beloved Southampton and they finished. They finished. So, the thing now, is, they were sixth in the league when we did this. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Both your teams, both of your, both of your teams were quite yeah. high up. Yeah. But, um, man, that that was <laughs> that was that, a that was a crash and a half. Optimistic oh, one man. there. Right, next one, I have Arsenal, and they're only two points there. Where actually had Chelsea who finished fourth. <laughs> So that's six. So what happened here then? Why did we put Chelsea so low? I can't remember. Were, were they uh, low then? Or were they, they were. They were about 11th and they still had Lampard at the time. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, that makes yeah. okay. Cause I, I, and Werner was looking terrible. I mean, he still looked terrible. But, but yes. Yeah. So we we knew that was going to continue. So. <laughs> but not that bad. I mean, like, yeah. Yeah, they, they got Champions League and we, fin- we put them outside of Europe. And it's just... I mean... I don't know what we were thinking. Shit happens, <laughs> you know. Shit happens. It, it was good form from them. We'll, we'll yeah. say that much. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. All right. Well, next one, I put Wolves, and they finished third team, so I get two for that one. And you put Arsenal, who were uh, three point three positions above, so you get three points. It's not looking good for you at the moment. It's not. It really isn't. <laughs> right, next one, I got Southampton, who has three points for that. You put Burnley, who finished seventeenth, so that's five points for you. Uh, this is yeah. I put Burnley 13, so I actually have four points for that one. You put Leeds, who actually finished ninth, for another four points. This isn't looking good. Oh, you put Palace dead on, so you get, oh. you get, none, you get none for that one. I put Leeds 14, so I actually get five for that. Oh, this isn't there. Uh, Come back on. I put Fulham and, well, I don't know. Whoa, Fulham 15th, that's weird. <laughs> but that's three points for me. You got I was optimistic. You put Wolves 15th, and they finished 13th. So yeah, still gain the point on that one for me. Come back, put, come on. And they put West Brom 16th, and that gets you three points. Whereas I put Palace 16th, and that gets me two. Newcastle, I put 17th. That's if it's 12. Wow. So that's five Steve for me. Steve Bruce Masterclass. <laughs> Jeez, you know what I mean? Yeah, he, he, he pulled out of the bag. He did. And he put Fulham there, so you only get one point for that one. We both put Brighton 18th, and they finished 16th, so it wasn't too bad of a guess. And then I put West Brom, yeah, I get zero points for that one. I put West Brom exactly right. And he put Newcastle 19th, and that has definitely killed you there. <laughs> so if we get the total of this, so we put G1 to G20, your score is 60, whereas my score is 46. So, wow. Nothing, nice. isn't it? Nothing that's a draw. <laughs> Are you sure about that? So I win. Yes, thank you very much. Congratulations. I, I, um, I mean, how many did I get? I got five perfectly correct. Yeah, and then another two one off. So uh, I'll take I got a three. You got four. You got four in these. Oh, did I? Oh yeah, I got four. I forgot yeah. Sheffield existed. <laughs> yeah, you know, this was a given. Very them. forgettable. Yeah. They had like what? They had like what? Two points. <laughs> what we guessed it? Something like if that. that. If that. Um, what do you make of your prediction? How did you feel you did? I mean, I think the Palace one was pure luck. That was just yeah. that mid table. I was just putting random teams in <laughs> and hoping for the best. West yeah. Brom, hmm. I, I, I had confidence in Sam Allardyce. I trusted the Northerner. You know, that's why I put them <laughs> high. It didn't quite materialize. Newcastle, I, it was Bruce Ball. You know, I just did not. Max I mean... was out at the time. Yeah, That's I when mean, he first went out. I mean, I put I put Newcastle seventeen, so I I didn't feel they were yeah. going to do too well either. But not 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 relegation. I mean, we both thought we both thought Fulham would get out of the relegation yeah. positions, and they 
bottle deaths. See, that was yeah. the thing that looked so good defensively for them. Like, but just going forward, they had nothing. Mm. But um, yeah, well, there you go. There's our predictions. Obviously, James owes me a meal now. So uh, cheers Indeed. for that, James. Appreciate You're that. You're welcome. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna. I mean, we're not. We're, we're not even gonna meet for the uh, no, unofficial no, two-hour meeting. Uh, sad. Super I know, sad. I know. But everyone else who's interested in two-hour meeting, obviously, feel free come over. We still got spaces for everybody. Um, you know, we've got karting in Nottingham and all that kind of stuff. So if you are interested in joining, let us know. And uh, yeah, but um, enough of that. Now we've done the we've done the Premier League. We've done that. Uh, what else have we got in our list? <laughs> I've, I've forgotten. I was yeah. sat there trying to think. I was thinking what's coming up next. I completely forgot what we we're going to have next. So we'll have a little tiny break and then we'll come back <laughs> with, the, with the next one. All right. Right, this next song we've never played live before. This next song is something that Tick Tick Boom has never done before. Come on, Nick. We're actually going to do a rock ballad for you. Go on, 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 on. Oh, no. oh. How do you think I bloody feel? Shit yourself up here. Uh, I, I've, I've been wanting to do this song. I've never actually sung it live with the band before. I've done it a few times when I was pissed at karaoke like you do. And uh, this is the first band I've ever talked into playing the song. So how this is going to go, we'll soon find out. You ain't no love in the heart of the city. You ain't no love in the heart of town. That's why there ain't no love in the heart of the 
And welcome back. So we had a little tiny break. We actually forgot everything we were going to do. <laughs> so we just uh, botched it and then made this weird tier list that we're going to do. This is the tier list for all GPRO players. This is actually the tier list for the greatest GPRO managers or the GPRO elite champions. So obviously we have here, we have 32 different champions here. And then we're going to rate them S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier or D tier based on just their whole uh, career. So are you ready, James? Are I am ready. Going to piss people off. We are. <laughs> Massively. So uh, let me actually sort these. Uh, actually, don't worry about that. Continue the current selections. There you go. I'm going to try to put them so they're not in, in kind of that order. OK, so we'll just mix up the order. We'll put them in kind of alphabetical order. So. A little bit easier to go through. So the first one, it's uh, your former teammate, Christos Bobolis. Oh, Christos. Where do you want to put him? I think he's won four titles. So I, I think he's, he can't be in the bottom two tiers, but I don't, don't think he's quite top tier. Uh, in terms of the rest of his career and titles he won, mm, I, I'd probably put him A category. In A? Yeah. That, that's okay. my personal opinion. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up. So I'm gonna bring up his career. You know, his, his career is actually really really good. So obviously he yeah. um, started season 21, promoted, promoted, and then all the way up to elite, and then he relegated in that same season from elite back down to master, and then been elite ever since season 36 up to his retirement. So uh, I could say I could say a maybe bottom of S. If I'm really pushing it, but A A is a decent shout. Yeah, I can I can I can go with an A. For me, I'm staying saying A because he's just been in the league for so long. He won one title against a teammate, which I found quite impressive. To be fair, it was something different. Not many people have done that. Fair enough. So, for me, yeah. though, he did. He didn't. He went. Like, his last title was in '57, so he went about 20 seasons just in a league, kind of floating around. So, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, obviously, since season fifty-seven, he only had two seasons where he was outside the top ten. So, yeah, he's true. always he's always been there. But, um, mm. but yeah, we can't we can't we can't really put him S tier. But yeah, A's yeah. perfectly fine for him. Yeah, he'll he'll be happy of A. He'll be happy. <laughs> he won't watch this. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next one is Alpo Kakinen. Kakinen. Don't know if I'm pronouncing it. I apologize if I'm pronouncing it wrong. He's obviously only won one title from Finland, the uh, the absolute powerhouses that they are. Only been in GPRO for 20 seasons, though. So yeah. What do you think? For me, that makes it more impressive. But he was an elite for quite a while before he won it. But saying yes. that he was close for a couple of seasons, I'm pretty sure, when he first got to elite. Yes. So he was uh he 
first season he was ninth, then he was third and third. Yeah. And then he fluctuated a little bit. And right. then um yeah, I mean like his last four seasons were with Mitchies, so yeah. Won it won it in season sixty nine, best season of them all. So <laughs> yeah. So, so I would I would put them I would put him C just because I'm yeah. not saying I'm not saying he's C tier, but I'm saying out of all the other champions. Yeah. He's his GPR or his like he didn't he wasn't not that he wasn't iconic, but he was around for a short period of time. Yeah. Yes, he was in Jaguar, but some would say that mean like he was in a top tier team. Mm-hmm. Does that make it easy to succeed? Does it make it harder? Easy to do it, but yeah, for me, if he won more than one title, he'd be much higher. Or if he stayed around for longer, he'd be much higher. Yeah, yeah. he did a Rosberg. Yeah, I mean, well, he did. He did stay. He did stay in the league for a couple yeah, of seasons after he won seasons. it. But, yeah, but, yeah. I mean, out, out of everyone here, yeah, he's not the greatest. <laughs> but um, you know, obviously, he did much better than either me or you. So <laughs> very true. Not that that's say, difficult, you know. I mean. Exactly, we can't say too much about it. But um, the next one is your actually your current teammate, uh, yeah. Yanis. Yanis, yeah. Dimitroglu, I'll just pronounce that. If I botch it, it's my fault. But uh, oh, no, you... I, I just avoid the second name for him. <laughs> so, four titles, currently in pro, still yeah. playing. What's your thoughts? I think the interesting thing with him is all the titles he won are quite low scoring, I'm pretty sure. I think he maybe had one good scoring season when so he won the title. Like, all, it was... all his title winning seasons were actually in the triple digits. What the? Yeah, so uh, he, he had a, he had a, in season 55, he won with 100 points, and then he won with 106, 109, and 126. That's not. I thought they were a lot lower. <laughs> I thought he had a few in the nineties, but so, yeah, he fair had, enough. He had, then he had very good, very good, very good seasons. And he also had a, a couple of couple of seasons in the second place with a hundred mm. and a hundred and five as well. So I think he has to be in the same tier as Christos, just purely because of how similar the careers were. They spent so long in elite. Yanis mm. faded a little bit towards the end, but. At the end of the day, he still had a lot of seasons up there. And he's had two spells, I believe. Two, um, no, it was, just, it, was, it was just one elite spell. Oh, no, two elite spells. Yeah, he had one yeah, early, was two, early yeah, on yeah. in his career, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah. Next year, two, two, um, two elite spells. Obviously, now in pro, still racing, still with you guys. How, how, is, how, is he, <laughs> how is he as a teammate for you guys? It is quiet, but it's very wise. You know, it is if you want advice, you go for him. You don't go for your Peter. You you go for Yanis. <laughs> Why not Peter, man? It, it, it's just such a natural at the game. He can't explain things to you. You yeah. know, it's just Yanis is is very clever. Yeah, yeah, can't can't argue with that one. <laughs> right, the next one. Next one is our uh, next one is my my boss. Hey, hey, or. Oh, uh, Andrea Squizato, sorry. Jeez, I got to pronounce that correctly. But um, where would you rate him? Where would you rate Dede? Obviously still in, well, master now, but... Yeah. Had a very a... kind of rough stints in Elite and obviously winning his first title quite recently, season 79. Yeah. The issue for me is the title was quite... It wasn't close, but it was a lot of people. Consistency wasn't a thing. That's it. Like, it. You'd have people winning a race, then being nowhere, kind of thing. Um, I don't. I don't think he scored a lot, did he? It was it the lo- one of the lowest. Scores? It was. It was the lowest score. No, but the it was, lowest. Yeah. But it was the best score, so you can't really argue. Yes, with that. that's that's true. Yes, so you know you can't you can't argue with sixty nine points winning the title. Yeah. It's, it's 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 literally the perfect score that you can have. But um, but no, I, yeah. I, I I agree with you. He had very kind of kind of mediocre stints in elite. Mm. Um, not really consistent at all. Um. But one thing that I will say, even though he's not, he's been inconsistent in elite, but he hasn't dropped 
out he's only ever gone down to master and come straight back up fairly yes. quickly yep. which I think can in a way take more skill than staying in elite for a long period of time because you've got to rebuild you know you can't yep. just keep the same driver and everything like you, there, there's yeah the it's the skill within that, but at the same time, he's had a long career. He's been around for very long, like 60 plus seasons. So, yep. Yeah. Starting the same uh, season as me, actually. So, did he? <laughs> yeah. Season oh. 14. Yeah. So, match made in heaven. Uh, you know, if, if it was my personal choice, I would put Dede right there. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a joint, it's a joint choice here. I, I'll, put, I'll put I'll put him higher than Alpo, just because of obviously, like you said. Really? I'd put him in the same. Yeah, I'd put him in the same. Alpo and Andrea are like two opposites. You've got Alpo, who's short and sweet. Mm. You've got Dede, who's long and sweet. <laughs> but, 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 but like you said, like the, the longevity and kind of just how he manages to keep. Obviously, yeah, he hasn't yeah. he hasn't he hasn't been below master since season fifty two. Yeah, um, where he promoted from pro, and but well, part of me also thinks the going up to elite, then coming back down, that was with the promotion sponsor situation, which yeah. in a way he, he probably could have made it into elite and returned and just done what the others have done, but didn't. So it was planned. It wasn't obviously unexpected. So for me, that pulls it down a little bit. I, 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 I think well, he's yeah. a he's a top quality manager, but I'll put him yeah. above him in C, but they'll both okay. be in the same. They'll both be okay. the same one. We'll, we'll or, agree on that one. We'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't kick, don't kick me out of the team, please. I love you. <laughs> now another one of my teammates. We got Jan Velsk, who's a two-time yes. champ. Um, how did you? Ah, uh, as a manager. I rate him very highly. You know, he was clever. He was really good with the promotion sponsor, making the most of them. He was up and down constantly. Hmm. It's time consuming. I mean, He's, yeah. He got back to back titles as well, which is, in yes. my opinion, worth bonus points. And I'm pretty sure he, um, well, he was, was he close to winning three on three in a row? Yeah, so he won yeah, in listen. he won in season seventy two with yeah. one hundred and fifty one points, which is just yeah. absolute domination, and then won in season seventy three yeah. with one hundred twenty nine points, and then well, I wouldn't say close because uh, in season seventy four yeah. he got seventy seven points, which is pretty good. But uh, is he broke... second or third or something that season. So he was second, and then second, uh, yeah. And then obviously first was Roland with 129. So it wasn't really close at all. Like 50, yeah, 50 enough, points then. apart. But uh, um he was, he was the nearest person to possible bot. So yeah, yeah. And obviously just last season he um, you know, with Hancock's was third overall. Yeah. Um obviously got beaten by Roland and the Joachim um for the title. But um yeah, what are your thoughts on him? Kind of um, uh, uh, for how well he dominated. I think that's worth a lot, and then to then win the following season as well. Yeah, can't fault it. I think it, I think he's a B category. You know, only yeah. way he, the only thing stopping him from being in the top two is obviously it's only two titles. If he'd won more, he'd be higher. Yeah. But yeah. as well, the dropping down to master quite a bit. It's but yeah. it, he's been there. He he got to a lead so quickly after he joined the game, and he he rose through it so quick. I mean, yeah, he he, but he never drops down to master for more than two seasons. Yeah, obviously he'll. I'm looking, I'm looking at his career, and he's the, he's the, he's the only man that I know that have been to all five master groups. There we go. He went, that he should went, be an achievement. He went that to five master groups, yeah. But, um, and he promoted in all positions as well. He finished first in master three, finished second in master five, finished third in master three, and finished fourth in master four. So there we go. And I promoted in all, all four of those seasons. But um yeah, I agree with you. Jan is a kind of a B B tier kind of yeah. champion based on kind I, of everything I, else. Yeah. I can see him rising through the tiers, so I, I can see more early championships coming. Yeah. Very soon. Yeah. Um let me just sorry, just uh, 
everything's just kind of confusing. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You can't compare him with the four-time champs of Christos yeah. and Yanis, but um, he is almost making his way up there. If he wins maybe another title, he could yeah could very much well be up there. So come on, Yan, you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is a uh, champ slash admin. Christian Yorga. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, what is your opinion on him? Well, he's so close to having first two, wasn't he? Like he came second in season one, I think, and then won season two. Yep. And then there wasn't much else after that. A couple more seasons in the league, and then that was it. So yeah, I mean, um, if I look at season, if I look at his career now, yeah, he. Um, he was first eight seasons was in elite. He obviously came second, then first, then third. Lost to Pe- Petar Totov, um, and then yeah, came second in elite. Came second in season seven though, with yeah, ninety-seven no, points. Yeah. But, um, Fair enough. Then. Lost to Maxim, and then yeah, he became a well. He really he retired. Well, not retired. He kind of reset, went back yeah. to rookie, and then became an admin after that one. So yeah. Um, it's difficult. I mean, of all the champions, he'll, he'll, has to, he'll have yeah. to be in bottom tier. Just yeah, cause... definitely. I think as well, I'd say that he won his title in the period when it was probably the easiest to win because mm. the game was new. Well, yeah. fairly new. There was a smaller player base and mm. things weren't as refined, you know. Yeah. You, yeah. There was a lot more big errors being made. So for me, yeah. Bottom tier. No, I I agree with that. Yeah, I mean, if you if you had if you had more time racing, he must he might yeah. have been better to um, have been higher. But definitely based on everyone else here, yeah, I'm afraid you're in D tier, Christian. I met him once. Very nice guy. Don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one is a uh, recent inductee of the GPR Hall of Fame. It's uh, Yari Ariskoski. I'd have to say A tier, just hey. hands down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I really want to put him S just because he was the first kind of pioneer, the first dominator of the of the scene. We had Petra, who was uh, back to back to back champ in season three, four, and five. Um, but since then, Yari and Heidi were the two that absolutely killed the game, became absolutely. But the, the thing for me is. Yari and Heidi were two separate people. Like that, in a way, they it makes the achievements look more impressive because it's the same name, same second name. But at the same time, you've got to think. Imagine being in a house with two GPR. Imagine two rolling puzzles living together. Imagine what they would oh achieve. God, they don't just don't don't even make us imagine that. That's just exactly. overload of <laughs> overload of emotions. But um, obviously, Yari, three times, three two, three times GPR already champ. Um, in season seventeen, he almost won the, his fourth one, but Leandro beat him by way of more wins. They were equal on points. Could have had his fourth title, but so um, close, but so far. Yeah, I mean, uh, he had a um, yeah. I mean, he was consistent. He scored points yeah. in every single race, but um, yeah, Leandro just won more. To be honest with that. But yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll put him top of A tier just because he was yeah. just absolutely the dominating. Yes. No, no offense to Christos and Yanis, but it, <laughs> they won it at a time where yeah, yeah, it was kind of at the low point, whereas Yari kind of won it when loads more players were playing it. it oh, yeah. We were it like, was when the game was on the rise. Like, yeah. That was when it was beginning to grow, it was beginning to boom, and yeah. Yeah. competition was high. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. And for him to kind of, kind of seamlessly kind of go from a phase where we had no tie suppliers to a tie supplier and still become a top yeah. five oh, yes. manager, it's just yeah, just amazing to see. Well deserved. A, I really want to put him an S, but yeah, like you said, it's just yeah, just his kind of longevity. It didn't really last that long after that. After he won his third season, retired in season thirty-one actually. Um, when he season was season before of, I started. Yeah. So yeah, he he um he retired re- he retired briefly between season twenty two and season twenty four, then twenty five, went from rookie to master, and then just left ever since then. But um, but yeah, Yari man, absolute 
awesome man. Just yeah, everyone we were scared of him when they were here when, when people raced. That's for sure. Uh, the next one is Ed Venus, and I'm not pronouncing his last name because I ain't gonna try. <laughs> but um, four time, well, no, two time champ. Sorry, Ed Venus. Where would you want to put him? This is a tough one. I'm going to leave this one up to you to decide because he was in elite for so long, but it took him a while to actually win. Yes, yes, that's correct. So he uh, obviously started um, beta season, went to season one. He actually started in amateur, went straight to master, and then went straight to elite. Obviously, for people who are new here, we'd never had the pro league until season nine. So <laughs> that's why they went from amateur to master. So, you know. <laughs> don't be don't be confused. But um yeah, went to Elite in season three, top ten ever since until his retirement in twenty season twenty six, won his title in season twenty one and season twenty three. <sighs> I would put him B with Jan. Only because of yeah. longev- only because of the long- longevity of it. If yeah. he managed to stay on for another maybe 10 15 seasons even if he didn't win even if he was top five in all those 10, oh, yeah. 15 seasons yeah. i would put an a but the fact that he just left pretty i mean he left with his last five seasons being winner second winner second second and the seconds weren't even that bad the seconds you know he got oh, 100, they were close. 120 close. 123 points and out with 15 races because he missed the he missed the last two Lost to Snedek. Um, season 24, he scored 135 points. And and Snedek had 144, so he lost to that one as well. And season 22, he had 130 points. Lost to the same guy. Lost the same guy all three times. So you can't really doubt his kind of absolute yeah. dominance on the game. It was For awesome. me, yeah. I think the biggest letdown is the fact that it could have been five titles quite easily, but it wasn't. The conversion wasn't there. Like he put himself yeah. in a great position to win them, but then obviously it didn't happen. And for me, that uh, it takes away a little bit from it. Yeah, I mean, he was in. Um, so there was a previous game, and he's he's got a pers- he's, he's got a personal well GPR champ car in his car livery. But um, yeah, he was a former champ of the game. The predecessor to GPRO and also a champ here. I can't obviously factor in the previous game, so but would you say B tier be uh, would be okay for, ideal for him? I just yeah, I just I'd can't say B tier. I just can't see him putting A. If he won one more, even if it's just even if it's just in the next season, yeah. I think A, a tier would have been okay for oh, him. Yeah. But easy. Is he only one two? I can't put him there. Sorry, man, but uh, I mean, if you are watching this, man, I mean. Come back to the game. We miss you, but <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, yeah, B B tier is all I can do. Um, next one is Joachim, our latest back to back champ. Where would you put him? It's hard. I, it's hard to compare current managers like in their prime, if that makes sense, to yep. people who've been and done it. But let's just let's just say, let's just say season eight, season eighty one was the last season of GPRO. So. That's yeah. it. That's the end of it. That was it. That was the last ever season. We're not racing anymore. Where would you put him? I'd have to put him in C just because of how similar in a way his career has been to Alpo's at this current stage. Hmm. I mean, would you? Yeah, I mean, obviously he, he started, well, he started season 33 apparently, but that was only one season. We ignore that because he... Yeah. Pretty much retired to Alpha. We didn't do a race that year, so he didn't was thinking on that. So season sixty-five started all the way up. One of the one of the very few managers who have never relegated from from his league and obviously won back to back titles. Where I would put him B to be honest. Not only because he won two titles, but the way that he's it's looking like he's becoming like a Roland, pretty much. <laughs> Obviously, we're, yeah. we're, we're ending it with this season, but yeah. you just you just can't deny the fact that. Well, firstly, he's promoted first in every single one of his promotion seasons, which is very rare it's in all true, kind of, yeah. which is very yeah. rare in kind of all managers. But in all, but 
being top 10 after just three seasons in the league, then winning his back-to-back seasons is just... Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much unheard of, to be honest, and nowadays, because obviously so many managers are capable of winning it. And the fact that he managed to rise above them twice is... Yeah. But as well, there's only been two seasons where it has looked like winning the title. Every like, All these other elite seasons, he's not been like there or thereabouts, if that makes sense. He's been yeah. in the mid-pack kind of thing. Mm. Whereas the people who we've got in the B category have been either second or third at least once or twice. And yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll put them kind of low B, um, but I can't put them C. Where he's, he's on the yeah, he's he's on the yeah. I think after this season, he'll probably be be like undeniable B. But yeah, 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 hundred percent. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, yeah, like like, like like yeah, like we said, we we're just basing it off. Season eighty one yeah. was the very last season that that we ever race, and yeah, yeah. Oh, but it's tough, kind of arranging two pro elite champions because they're all really good managers. Like we yeah. can't, oh, yeah, yeah we, we can't stress that enough. That like they're really really good. We yeah. just ha- we just have to put people in in these really crappy kind of you know tiers, and it's just. Unfortunately, Joachim has to be there just for the time being. If he's obviously in, in if we do this in season ninety and he's won four more since then, obviously no S tier mate. But at oh, the moment, yeah. at the moment we can we can only put him in B. Um, yeah. But the next one is your other elite champion winning teammate, Federico or Fred, I have to call him. I'll I'll leave this up to you because obviously you know him more than. Can I do so? What are your thoughts? I feel really bad, but I'd put him in D. Okay, and uh... um, it's it's purely because he's been around for so long. He won the title quite early on, about season. It was in the forties, I think. Yeah, season um, forty-two. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's been. This is like a fortieth season since then, and he's not won it since, and he's slid down to amateur kind of thing. It's yep. yeah, and even when he did win the title, it was kind of a low scoring season. It wasn't the best, it wasn't a domination or anything like that. Yeah, and the season before and season after, it was like it, it wasn't close, so it's a bit of a yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm looking at his um manager history now and career and yeah I, I can understand what you're talking about when uh, very patchy elite kind of stints nothing apart from his uh, elite winning title kind of like that kind of gap it was, it was just more than one or two seasons in elite and then going straight back down um, yeah not really consistent in elite as well like finishing 20th 21st I'm 23rd, 23rd, and then winning it <laughs> after that. Yeah, that, okay. that's one thing that does... That's probably the most impressive part about it is going from finishing 23rd twice, scoring one point across two seasons before him, yep. and then winning the title. That That is impressive. That, that won't happen again, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's... <laughs> he was on a brink of kind of relegation contenders to yeah. elite champion in one season. But um, yeah, I'll put D. It's yeah. sorry, Fred. It's painful. But... He understands. Sorry, he understands. All right, the next one is Justinus, the four time champ, the only guy to do it back to back to back to back. It's impressive. I... I would want to put him on S tier, bottom of S tier, but I would put yeah. him on S tier. Yeah, I'd agree, definitely. There's no one since him in season 26 to 29 to win it four times in a row, and he yeah. did that. I mean, and I think another thing as well, he did that. He retired. He took a break. He came back and he got back to elite. Yeah, he got he got to elite within within ten seasons. Like, yeah, just. Yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, 
He was a good manager, naturally good manager, you know. Yeah. I mean, he almost won it in seasons 56 and 57. Uh, yeah. he, he was second in both of them, narrowly missing out to, you know, two of your teammates, Yanis and Christos. Yeah. So, um, but having that, yeah, having that break, coming back, almost winning it again. And I keep saying it, but first, you know, four-time right. champ to, to win it all win in a row. S category, no doubt. Yeah, I mean, at the moment he's up there, but um, good. But um, <clears throat> obviously there'll, there'll, there'll be people who will be above Justinus and S tier, but for the time being, he's in S tier. No doubt about it. Absolute legend. Lithuanian god. And uh, if you're watching this, please come back. <laughs> Want to see you on there again. But um, the next one is Gattis. Still currently racing. He's part of the Whisk and Cigars team. I believe no it's not don't worry no, me. he retired a long time ago yeah, he, re- he retired 2012 i don't know why i'm yeah. racing but um you know one time one time elite champ um retired season 26 i put him on d tier to be honest like he didn't yeah. he had a very it's not a small stint it's like still 12 seasons in elite but one in season six broke the petar dominance and that in that in that early era you know, was top ten until season, you know, season fifteen, where he relegated or kind of requested to be yeah. reset. Didn't go up ever since then. Probably just lost interest in playing, and uh, yeah, yeah, definitely detail for me, unfortunately. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we'll clear on that one. All right, next one, Leandro. S two, no doubt, absolutely yeah. no doubt. You know, it just. Unfortunately, Justine, I'm going to put you there because I know there's going to be another person above you. And Leandro, I'm afraid you've got to be there because there's going to be one person in that gap that we haven't gone to yet, but there will be there soon. But yeah, Leandro, still racing, still really good. Had him on the podcast. If you haven't watched it, I'll link it. But uh, yeah, I mean, what can you say about him, man? What can you say about him? It was great. He was the precursor to possible, you know. Yeah. He set the standard. I mean, yeah, I mean, he he was, along with Toy Gun, them two were uh, battling out to become the best. Season 47 finally did it. Won seven titles, retired for a little tiny bit, came back, back to Elite, and then now he's been in Master for the past seven seasons. Mm. He'll be back so, one day, I'm sure. 100%, yeah. I mean, he's, he's currently fourth at the moment, obviously with one race, so... Yeah. Who knows? He could be up there. He could be uh, in elite next season. But yeah, definitely S tier for me. Hundred percent. There's only two people that definitely. can definitely agree on S tier, and that's obviously him, Leandro, and Roland. Um, but yeah, definitely that. Next one is Heidi. Heidi Araskowski. Where would you put her? I'd say it has to be below Yari. Okay. Purely for the one last title. Um, but I'd say Heidi and Yari were pretty close. I'd say they were both quite, you know, it, it, uh, yeah. I, I'll have to put, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, the only reason why I'm kind of rating, mm, yeah, I was going to rate Heidi a little bit more higher than Yari, even though Yari won three titles. But well, Heidi went away from the game and came back and walked into a leap kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's, that's, that's kind of what's putting me wanting to put her... I'm okay, okay, when I'm looking at this, Yari is A tier, top A tier. I, yeah, I can't put her there, unfortunately. No. I can put her below. Yeah, definitely. All-time champs. But is she better than Yan, though? I'd have to sit there. For me, Heidi was in elite for longer than Jan, for a like, longer period of time. Yeah. Went away from the game, came back, still proved their ability, you know. Yeah. 100, 142 points in rookie, straight into amateur, 143 points. Out of pro after a season with 148. Yeah. Through master, promoted 156 points promotion from master. 
I mean, that's, that's just crazy. four solid. That is four incredibly solid promotion seasons. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. No, no, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Uh, yeah, we we'll, uh, got her bottom of eight here. Yeah, she is definitely. I mean, she's the one that broke, you know, the uh, the great Jan Rocker streak as well. So you know, you can't. Oh yes, exactly. Can't, can't you deny that as well? Iconic. It is iconic. Absolutely. Absolute beast of the game. Um, the next one is Maxim Kotov. Yeah, I think this is an interesting one because he's a two-time champ. I, yeah, I think it's it's another case of won two titles, went away, came back to the game, got back to elite, but was never that good again. I, Never looked like an elite champion kind of thing. Yeah. But at the same time, 32 seasons away, was it? That, that's a yeah. long period of time. Mm. Yeah. So. And then just came back and just dominated the scene again, just going up and down. Yeah. But then, yeah, he's, he's kind of yo-yoing through master yeah. and elite at the moment. <sighs> Me, <laughs> just two championships, great, but... If he would have carried on, really, like if, if, yeah. he did, if he didn't retire in season ten and then retired maybe in season twenty, and then we kind of had a more, had a more view of his peak of his career, shall we say? Yeah, maybe we could have put a bit higher. Yeah, but I'll put him yeah. B. Yeah, I think B bottom of B maybe is a fair yeah position. Yeah. Yeah. Just because of just because yeah, just because the way that he hasn't dominated the elite kind of scene as we seen bet- you know, with Jan, with Edvinus, with Joachim. We haven't seen that domination yet. Yeah. He did it early in early doors, you know, finished twice finished second twice against Petter, finished second against Vladimir in season nine when he retired. But um yeah. I mean his his you know he has the highest scoring season ever, 161 points in the league. True. You know, obviously you know nine points and you get you know that is impressive. Um, yeah, it's for me though. With that kind of, if you're capable of doing it once, you should be winning more titles than two. But yeah, yeah. just never lived up to expectations. Yeah, I mean it's 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 sad, but you know it's, it's how it is. I think he's just racing for fun at the moment. So yeah, what else, what else can you do? To be honest, exactly. Yeah. But Maxim, you know, we we never doubted that he had pure oh, yeah. potential, but. Yeah. Based on his actual kind of history, it's just not good. Yeah. I don't think the results tell the full story, if that makes sense. Yeah. I think he's better than the results show. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. All right. The next one is Jan. Jan Pavlicek. Oh, Two time champ it, from the Czech Republic. This annoys me because I think Jan would have won so many more titles if that hadn't. Left off, like that was that was like leaving in the prime kind of thing, you know. Yes, it was. It was was kind of just yeah. It was unfortunate because you know his last six or his last seven seasons before he retired, you know, third, second, first, third, first, second, second. Like you, you never see stuff like this anymore. Like apart oh, from Roland, apart from Roland, yeah. you can't really see that. Even though he only won two titles, he's kind of. I mean, obviously his first in really wasn't the greatest. Uh, relegated, you know, season very six. But as soon as he went back up to the elite, sick, sick, third, second, first, third, just all, just always dominating, always being, you know, a contender. You know, never scoring lower than 46 points in the league, which is just mind-boggling to me. You know, you never see that, incredible. especially now. Um, yeah. Promoting it. My issue is, like, as great as that was, it didn't last for... It, like, we never saw how it would end. Yeah. It was just a stop. And only two titles. It's... Yeah. It's it, it's sad, yeah. It's it's like it's like Michael Jordan pretty much <laughs> winning his first yeah. few titles and then just retiring. Yeah. Obviously, he came back and won three more titles, but <laughs> we we're, we're basically when he's saying he's retired for good on the peak of his career, just retired straight there. 
It's just a bit, it's, it's just more different. Really. As well, a big thing as well is when Jan was in Elite for the first time, when you look at the competition then, mm. compared to around the second one, it was very different. You had very different people in. I think when he won his titles, there was a more quality, but it was spread across more people. Mm. Whereas when they were first in Elite, you know, you had Toy Gun, you had Leandro, and that was two peak people. Like that was, I think overall the Elite group had less quality, but the quality that it did have was concentrated more. And for me, it would be more impressive if he'd won back then compared yeah. to when he did. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, I definitely agree with that one. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking at their names, you know, in season 34, um, just just a random season in um, in you know in the previously, you got Leandro, you got um, you know Sev Sevredov, who's a, obviously a champion as well, nice. Toy Gun, you got Yanis, you got Rimantas, Jao Montero, who's also a champion. Uh, you also have obviously Yan himself, um, Alex Sedge, who's also you know just an absolute legend of the game. Uh, Yuka was as a part of it. He's yeah, got so many good names, and to be finishing kind of fifteenth, you know, below, it's just kind of mars it a little bit. But yeah, yeah. once he said, once he came, once he relegated and went back up to elite, just yeah. dominated. I mean, but he did dominate in an era where. Roden was kind of the only kind of competitor, and I don't think there was really yeah. anyone else that could really challenge. Um, I think a lot of people had had their success, or it was before they'd found the success, if that makes sense. But yeah, for me, it's when you look at the lower half of the elite table you, that you can see the difference in quality, the careers that the players have had. Mm. And yeah, I. Yeah, I'd say it probably has to just go with the other two-time champions. Yeah, Jan. Cool. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll put him... I can't really put him on. I might put him above Jan, but I'll put him above Joachim and Maxim, maybe. Yeah, somewhere in the middle. Yeah, he can, he can be in the middle there. But, um, yeah, it is difficult to kind of look at that. It's, it's, it's such a sad sight seeing that, you know, yeah. his peak and then just instant retirement. Yeah, but what can you do, though? Eh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The next one is Paolo Pinto. I'm going to stop is... you right here. <laughs> Timing. Are, are we going on too long? Because I think we're about an hour and a half in now. Are we? <laughs> oh, God. Should we maybe do another half on the next time? Possibly. Yeah, we could definitely do that, yeah. Because th- are we at the halfway point? Um, I think we're about halfway. Yeah, about halfway. So, so um... should we maybe do that? Well, actually, yeah. So, if you if you stick around for this long, there's actually gonna be a part two of this. So we we'll just do a we we'll just do a bonus pod. We we'll just do it like a bonus podcast. So whenever you have time, we can just do this again. But yeah. oh, well, we could do it like in five episodes time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I got something special for episode twenty. Um, oh, in ten episodes time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll let you know. But like, we could just release like this on a Friday or yeah, something. Yeah. Just when yeah. you know, when when people want an extra bonus yeah, episode to watch works. out, but um, yeah, sorry, yeah, I mean, yeah, we're all busy, you know. I, I don't want to take too much of James's time, but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll save this and then we'll go, we'll go, we'll go from there. But um, yeah. we'll stop the share so we can see our faces. But yeah, cheers, everyone, for listening, man. I really appreciate you. Yeah, this this tier list gets us talking and gets us just time just flies by. Yeah, I think it's going to be controversial as well. I think there'll yep. have a few uh, people weighing in. <laughs> may, may, we may even tempt some people out of retirement just to come and defend themselves. Oh, mate, that'll be Who good. Knows? That'll be good. Anyone who's retired and uh, is in that list, yeah. come at us. Give us. Prove us wrong. <laughs> Vlad has totally not paid us to get, try and get all these great names back into oh, the no, game no, at no, all. No. Yeah, my invoice is in the post, Vlad, if you're listening. <laughs> just, just ignore the Ferrari on the drive. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, man, I really appreciate your time again, James. Really do like like the like I said, this the time just flies by when we talk, man. It does. Yeah, absolutely but, um, flies. But thank you all for listening. Obviously, part two will be coming soon. We would we, we will record it sometime soon uh, when everyone has time. But um, but yeah, thank you all for listening. And uh, next episode is with a uh, 
and another former elite champ. So uh, look forward to that one. But until then, it's goodbye from me, James. That's from me too. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye.